In the beginning, there were synthesizers, keyboard instruments that could make any imaginable sound. Musicians played them, and it was good. Then, they wanted more, 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 more. So pretty soon, it was 1983, and several music manufacturers got together to agree on a standard way of describing music. The whole point of it was to be able to connect two different synthesizers together, so you could play one keyboard and hear both sounds at the same time. Therefore, they had to find a way to describe the actions that were taking place on the keyboard of the first synthesizer. If this description was accurate, then the sound from the second synthesizer would closely follow that performance on the first keyboard. In other words, you could blend two different sounds together from one keyboard. Here's another way to look at it. Let's say we're talking, and a friend steps in and says he just bought a car. We wouldn't have any idea what it looks like. But what if he told us he bought an old blue convertible? This accurately describes what the car looks like. Now let's apply this to music. If I tell you that I am playing a note, you have no idea what it sounds like. However, if I tell you I'm playing middle C very softly, and I hold it down for three seconds, you now have an accurate description of what that note sounds like. This is what MIDI is all about. It allows descriptions of all of the actions made on one device to be sent to another device where they are received and interpreted. In many cases, these descriptive messages recreate music while you are playing. However, as you'll soon discover, that's really only the beginning. If our friend describes a part of the car that we aren't familiar with, that part of the picture in our minds will be missing. Likewise in MIDI, the receiving device will only respond to those messages it understands. You see, MIDI can't create new features that don't already exist on a piece of equipment. If a device does receive messages that it can't understand, it simply ignores them. Now what actually makes up a MIDI system? Well, the most basic MIDI system requires at least two devices. A master controller, to which you attach MIDI cables and connect to a slave or receiving device. As you play the master controller, a stream of numbers that uses the MIDI language is created. This describes your performance. These digital messages are sent along the cable to the slave device, which interprets the messages and recreates your performance. Let's hear what a system like this might sound like. Here in our example system are two synthesizers that have been connected via MIDI. The master controller sounds like a piano. The slave device sounds like strings. Together, they sound like this. So, MIDI stands for Musical Instruments that use digital messages to interface or talk with each other. To see what each component in this system is doing, turn to the basic MIDI and audio system diagram in your workbook. Here you can see that MIDI messages, shown in red, travel from a master controller to a slave device. Each device in this system is able to produce a sound of its own. Notice the audio signals, these blue lines, travel from each sound source into a mixer. This mixer works in stereo. That means it takes in sounds from several different sources and combines or mixes them into a left and right stereo output. These combined signals are sent to an amplifier and then on to a pair of speakers where you hear the music. Notice that the MIDI data, again in red, travels in a completely separate path than the audio signals in blue. This is very important to understand. Now, because MIDI is a description of what music has been played, we can easily change the sound on the second synth to hear the same performance with a different sound. For example, by changing the string sound to a horn sound, we can hear what a piano sounds like with horns.
It's like telling a violinist to play something, then telling a trumpet player to play the same thing. You describe the part to them, but the actual sound comes from each individual instrument. MIDI is the description of the performance, not the actual sound itself. What you just heard was an example of real-time MIDI performance. In other words, you can build up layers of sound while you are playing. There are also other ways of using MIDI to enhance the creative process of composing and performing music. For example, a device called a sequencer allows you to record MIDI's descriptive digital messages. You can then go back and edit them quickly, easily, and with greater flexibility than editing an audio recording of these same musical ideas. Here's another way to look at sequencing. Let's say an author wants to write a book. She sits down at a typewriter and types in the first 10 pages. After reading through it, she realizes that she wants to move a couple of paragraphs from the middle to the end of the chapter. She could get out a pair of scissors and cut the words off the page and tape them on at the end. Or, if she had typed them into a word processor, she could achieve this same effect more quickly, more easily, and with greater flexibility by tapping a few buttons and letting the computer do the work. You see, her ideas are in digital form inside the computer, where she can add and subtract ideas and even move things around before committing them to paper. This is the kind of flexibility and power that a MIDI sequencer offers. With a sequencer and several different sound sources, you have the ability to try out different ideas, hear different sounds together, at different tempos, in different keys, all at the touch of a few buttons. Once you understand the basic concepts, you'll find it really unlocks and enhances your creativity. Since MIDI is basically a language, we'll look at a few basic terms and ideas before getting started. Although some of these terms might sound technical and maybe even a little intimidating, remember, they're just words that describe simple, common sense functions. You are learning a new language here. Take the time to really understand what's happening. You'll be glad you did.